Multiple vehicle accidents, multiple injuries. 14 and Lincoln. Oh, it's 120. Let's get him on the mark. Yes, I like it. I think it's a compound fracture. Keep breathing. Lots of deep breaths, sir. Beat the truck, huh? That's all you guys ever think about is beat the truck. Hey, man, step back. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I pay taxes, all right? I work hard. And all day long, I gotta deal with bus bombs always in a hurry. Sir, you're really gonna have to give us some room here. Val, I need this alien IV. I don't have to do anything for you. This is a free country. You know what that means? Free speech. You hear me? Val, now! Free? Look, you interfere with an EMT on duty, you pay a $1,000 fine, and you got that? You got that, sir? Here, you're good to go. Uh, Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Val, I asked for saline. That's dextrose. What? I can't believe I did that. I mean, I've hooked up an IV bag, what, maybe 100 times? Val, we caught it. Patient wasn't harmed. Yeah, but Tyler, what if he had been? I can't believe I blanked like that. Okay, here's the problem. You're human. Okay, humans make mistakes, Val. Point is, everybody goofs once in a while. Everybody. Hey, guys, this report is wrong. It says that you gave oxygen for a laceration. Val, these are your initials. Would you fix it, please? You were freaked about the IV. Truck driver's in your face. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. Uh, Jamie, I'm going to need your official decision sometime this week. Official decision? That sounds heavy. Yeah, well... You know, it's not a big secret. My community service is up at the end of the month, so Alex just wants to know whether or not I'm going to stay on the squad. And you are, of course. That's a no-brainer, right? No. Not really. It was a stellar shift. Besides the enraged truck driver, we had a woman who got hysterical over a bad manicure and a flu case whose breath was so bad it could strip paint. The sacred squad, saving mankind one pathetic loser at a time. And that's not the worst part either. Alex already posted the duty roster. I'm scheduled to work Monster Motocross weekend and the night at the Dead Executives concert. Okay, listen, um, I moved planets to get us those tickets, Jamie, okay? So you're not ditching me. Well, I can't get anyone to sub for me. We're already short-handed. That's it, I stick with the squad that goes my life. Yeah, okay, listen, here's my question. Um, why are you even thinking twice? Look, ditch the geeks, you've done your time. Well, that's just it, I mean, I put a lot of hours in here. What, what is this place, a medical cult? First it enslaves my best friend, and now my, my backup best friend falls under its evil spell. Hello? Um, you are allowed to walk away. You know, you never want to be here to begin with, remember? It's not who I am, is it? No. I mean, it was a sentence. I served my time. I don't owe them anything. Exactly. Well, that's it. I'm gonna finish up the week and then I'm done. I'm out of here. All right. You know, maybe. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm hiring a deprogrammer. Uh, save your money for dead executives t-shirts. I'll see you. Amy, can you hear me now? Oh, wow, it even works in Alex's office. You are so lucky to have this phone. Oh, I want one so badly, but I might as well ask my dad for a sports car. Oh my gosh. Alex got the Call Matrix 2000 SL complete with interface cradle. You'd spit on yours if you saw this. It's smaller than a checkbook and it does everything. Telephone, PC, internet connection, pager. Hey Brooke, what are you doing? Sorry, I was... So who are you talking to? Amy. Uh, we were doing homework, and since we're not supposed to use the station phone for personal calls, she loaned me herself. And what are you doing with mine? Uh, drooling over it? I've never seen a 2000 SL in person before. 
Look, this is a very expensive, highly delicate piece of equipment. I don't want anybody touching this, including you, okay? Right. No touching. Gotcha. A phone like that is so wasted on Alex. This huge wind came out of nowhere. The sign was blowing around like crazy, so I came out to take it down. Yeah, but it took you down first, huh? Awesome. Were you knocked up, sir? No, it's just crazy. Do you feel dizzy or nauseated? No. Man, you believe this wind? The home's got to be damaged all over town. OK, sir, I'll clean these guts and take you to the ER for stitches and a concussion check. But not here. Hey, I thought we moved this guy into the ambulance. OK, Tyler, get him up. OK, get in the front. Val, grab the jump bags. Val, leave it, we'll use the spare. Come on. Can you believe this wind? There's trees down everywhere. The airport's closed and half the town is blacked out. Oh, tornado warnings. Well, I haven't heard any, but I could find out. <laughs> the Call Matrix 2000 SL has wireless internet weather service, and it says <laughs> severe storm warnings and tornado watch. Oh, man, he's got Bugopolis, and I bet he's never even played it. <laughs> Don't you love that little Larva King? Uh-oh, here comes the woodpecker. Quick, burrow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It, it just froze. I think I crashed his 2000 SL, and it's stuck on Bugopolis. I am so busted. Hank. I'm, I'm really, really sorry about that jump bag. I'm, I'm gonna make sure everything is replaced. Hey, we, we all know the rules. It's cool, but uh, check with Alex. Maybe there's an exception for natural disasters, all right? I have to make it pissed off. I'll be right back. You must think I'm such a fool. <sighs> no, it doesn't. I mean, we all go through rough spots. <sighs> You're right, rough spots. You know what you need? What? A good luck charm. A lucky penny. Help me get through some rough spots. It reminds me to believe in myself. Is it from the year you were born or something? No, actually, it's uh, from the year you joined the squad. Must be a good omen. Wait, your lucky penny is from the year that I joined the squad? Yeah. Go figure. Thank you. No problem. Man, the storm is a disaster. Yeah, man, kind of like your jokes. <laughs> Look, and in case you forgot, man, the calls are run by the senior EMTs. What you want? Vehicle 156, call over. This is vehicle 156, over. Possible toxic fumes, multiple victims, 996 Ridge Road. Can you respond? Over. This is vehicle 156, we're on it. Are you sure? Okay, here goes nothing. It went dead. No, the screen is totally blank. I think we killed it. Brooke! Oh, here comes Alex. I'll call you back later. Hey, we got a lot of storm-related calls coming in. I'm gonna need you to set up the duty rosters for the backup squads if this weather keeps up much longer. Check the forecast. Oh, man, this thing is completely dead. Really? Gee, th th that's a surprise. Customer service. Customer service. I paid way too much for this phone to break down. Is that the instruction manual? Um, maybe it's just jammed and we need to reboot the whole thing. It was fine when I put it in the cradle five minutes ago. Now it's broken. How could it be jammed? Busy. Probably because everybody's calling in to complain. You know what? We're going to write a letter. That's an even better idea. To whom it may concern regarding your overpriced Call Matrix 2000 SL that you falsely advertise as reliable. Damn, what happened? I don't know. Sorry. Me and Gina said they were doing it, and then I felt <coughs> I, I couldn't smell anything. We all got cold. Hank, it's gas. <laughs> Could go any let's second. Move, let's move. Let's move.
Where is she? Where, where, where's Chelsea? Where? Chelsea! 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 Chelsea. Ma'am? Chelsea! Ma'am? My six-year-old. I thought, I thought she was with us, but she's not here! This is vehicle 156. We need fire rescue. Dispatch, do you copy? Dispatch, please respond. We were playing in the basement. I told her to come upstairs. She was hiding. I was coughing. I couldn't see. I thought she was with us. Well, we're calling the fire department right now, though. They'll, they'll find her for you. What if, you don't, what if there's another explosion? OK, we hosed up the fires to the windows, and I think we turned off the gas valve. It was kind of bad. Yeah, the kitchen is total. The rest of the house looks OK, except for the smoke. Bad news. The storm down a bunch of power lines. There's like a million accidents, tons of calls, and I can't get through to the fire department. No, 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 you have to. They have to get my daughter out, man. We're going to keep trying, OK? We're going to keep trying. It's Guys, how long is this going to take? She might be injured in there. And we have to find her. First of all, we don't do rescue. Second of all, we're not even sure if she's even in there. Where else would she be? It could be unsafe. It could be structural damage. The place would come down around our ears. There could even be another explosion. All the more reason to get her out then, right? All right, we're going to go in. Tyler and me, I do not want to risk any more of us than I have to. Chelsea, are you down here? The explosion must have burst the water main. Chelsea? I can't get down. Hey. Hey, that's OK. We'll come to you. Emergency Medical Services. I'm Tyler, and this is Hank. Tyler, the power is still on. If anybody touches the water, bad news. Chelsea, don't move. And whatever you do, do not touch the water. Do you hear me? Don't touch the water. We're going to get you out as soon as possible. You need the fire department. i got to go get them. Oh, someone needs to stay here and talk to her. Hey, uh, Chelsea, these are our friends. Hey, Chelsea, how's it going? Hey, Chelsea, I'm Val. This is Jamie. We're really glad you're OK. Listen, Chelsea, Val and Jamie are going to stay with you until we get the fire department, OK? But remember, don't touch the water, OK? Stay, dispatch, stay with me. Dispatch, I'm losing you. My phone just melted down, too. The whole system's overloaded. Hey, what's taking so long? I thought I told you to stay by the window. Yeah, well, the mom's back there, and she's freaking out. She just wanted me to check. Trees are down everywhere, OK? Fire rescue said that they can't get their equipment in here until they clear an oak that fell at Main and Grain. It's blocking two streets. Are you kidding? No. It gets worse. Phone lines are jammed. We can't find anyone who can shut the power and water off. As the water is rising. Now, the kid, she's trying to be cool, but she's really scared. I don't know how much longer she can hold on. Hank, it might take him an hour to get through the tree, maybe two. Hank, trust me, we don't have that much time. But, OK, it's against the rules, I know. And we don't do rescues. The guys who do may never get here. You're right. There's nobody else. I think these could work. And with the backs, I don't have any other ideas. Look, okay, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Excuse me? It's dangerous. You know? Essentially, we could be risking our lives, and if you're gonna leave the squad anyway. So even in my case, you think I'm gonna desert your precious team? Okay, see, that's your business, okay? I just don't want anybody involved in this who's not totally committed. Hank, as long as I'm here, I do the job. This isn't part of the job, Jamie. She cannot cross that by herself. One of us is going to have to go over there and get no her. No problem. Overruled, I'm doing it. I say we take a No wait arguments. A I'm seeing you. It's my call. Water's getting higher. Okay, just stay still, honey. Hey, son is way right now. What's up, Hank? Get off. You're too heavy. Come on. Okay, if I'm too heavy, then you are, and so are you. You're the best. You got a lucky penny. Hey, 
Chelsea. Wow, you are really, really, really brave. I said, come in, we can do this, okay? And you don't have to worry, because you're not going to fall. I'm going to be your safety net, okay? Okay, I need you to crouch way, way down there, okay? Way, way down, okay? And you're going to go really, really, really slow. And when I say one, you're going to move this arm and this leg, okay? And when I say two, it's the other. Really, really slow. And if you want me to stop, just yell out, stop. Okay? Okay. Now one, two. One, two, one, two, one. still hasn't been able to get them on the radio. You see, that's why I got this stupid phone in the first place. It's supposed to have state-of-the-art uplink technologies for situations like this. And instead, I got kids out there and I can't even reach them. Alex, it's my fault I broke the phone. What? Before, when I was filing, I was just going to check the weather, but then I saw Bugopolis and the woodpecker was coming and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Hello? 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 Hank, is everything okay? okay? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Thank you. But I tell you, it's been a day we'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. I will be here. Yeah. Okay, that's it, Jamie. You, you've lost it. You are certifiable. No sane person would stay on the Geek Squad of their own free will. Who said I was sane? No, 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 no. See, this is mind control. They planted a chip in your brain. Val's probably had one for years. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> what are you so amped about? Alex punished me for messing up his cell phone. That's a good thing because... <laughs> well, I had to apologize for the angry letter and admit that I'm the one who crashed it. But when they found out I was a kid, they were upset that I had trouble. And the next thing I know, they send me this phone just to find out how I like it. But so you get the Batmobile of cell phones totally free just because they care what a 12-year-old thinks? Mm-hmm. They said if kids can't work them, who's going to teach the grown-ups? <laughs> what? You made up all that stuff, didn't you? I've got that lucky penny, and you just did it to get my confidence back up. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it might be a good idea. No, don't, don't apologize. That was, that was incredibly sweet. It was really sweet. Sometimes I look up in the sky, just wondering why you have given me so much. Not today I really tried to hold back tears, not to cry. Circumstances feel so rough no.